Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochi. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my videos, keto, beauty, lifestyle, and more. Today, I wanted to do a quick recipe that you guys can make at home. Very, very simple. This is basically a way to kind of spice up your chicken meals. Just make them a little bit extra scrumptious, but this recipe is actually really quick and simple this is an oven baked chicken parmesan and keto style and this is a breaded chicken parmesan so i want to show you guys how i do it on keto because normally i will use ritz crackers or you can use breadcrumbs i was gonna say breadcrumbs like no i use ritz crackers which is a no-no on keto or you can use breadcrumbs but it's actually simple i'm actually gonna make it for myself so i'm just gonna throw it in the toaster oven as well so i don't even have to wait for the oven to heat up but if you guys want to see how i make it then just keep on watching for our baked chicken parmesan we are going to melt some butter which i already did and this can be you know depending how much you want and essentially this is what's going to coat your piece of chicken so this is my piece of chicken usually i'll do you know enough for me and frankie or this honestly this recipe is great if you want to make multiple chickens <laughs> multiple chicken breasts and then just save it for the week so this is actually a really good meal prep it heats up really well super delicious so i'm just gonna let this guy kind of bathe in there if you want you can go ahead and use like an egg wash or something but this is just going to be a very butter chicken next what I went ahead and did I use pork rinds I use the classic ones I believe oh these are the vintners brand got these at jewel you can get the ones from uh, Aldi you can get the ones from Costco whatever you want these are just plain if you want to mix it up let me know if you try spicy but I took some pork rinds and I went ahead and mashed them up with a rolling pin so this since it's only for me this is about maybe like two and a half handfuls and mind you my hands are small <laughs> of the pork rinds and I just went ahead and finely mashed them up you want it really fine because you want it to hold on to the chicken next all i do is add a little bit of parmesan cheese so here since it's only for me honestly i eyeball this so but for measurement purposes uh this is about half a cup so if you don't like as much parmesan that's totally cool then just to make it look pretty i go ahead and add some parsley if you have fresh parsley you know go ahead and use fresh parsley but i honestly only use like parsley for this so just go ahead and sprinkle it in just so you get like a nice little even coating some parsley in there really kind of just garnish <laughs> and just mix that up next what we're gonna do is just take out the chicken and we're gonna throw it in the mixture and this is why I'm using the bag so basically you can just mix it up and I like to press on Sometimes what I'll do, which is what I'm going to do right now because I want it just deliciously coated, I'll dip it back into the butter and then I'm going to dip it back into the bag. Just so we can get all of those dry ingredients on there. But if you want a light coating, you can do it once. Honestly, it just depends on my mood and then how much I have left over. <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my pan, your flat dish, whatever you have. I'm honestly lazy, so I'm just gonna put this in the toaster oven since it's just me. And we're going to go ahead and just lay it on there. If you want, with leftover butter, you can drizzle some on top, just so it's rich. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a little bit extra of the dry ingredients and just coat that on top. Last what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of pepper on top. I always forget this step and I take it out the oven. <laughs> Don't forget a little bit of pepper. And all I'm gonna do is heat this up in the toaster oven or oven if you're doing multiple ones or you know if you just wanna use the oven at 350 degrees depending on the thickness of your chicken. So for this guy, since he's not so thick, it's a pretty thin slice, I'm gonna have it on there for about 30 minutes. If you have thicker pieces, I recommend anywhere, check it around the 30 minute mark, but usually 45 minutes for the really thick, hefty pieces. But I'm gonna check this guy anywhere around 25 to 30. 
30 minutes. So let's pop it in the oven. So about after 30 minutes, because as I said, this chicken piece wasn't as thick, it was ready and this is what it looks like. I went ahead and added just a little bit of broccoli and your side of avocado so that you can get those fats. But honestly, if you want a super simple, quick meal uh this meal will probably take the longest time is for it to bake especially if you have a thicker piece but i was editing uploading a video in between you can wash some dishes do something like that but this is my single lady meal for today and if not normally this would be like a really easy meal prep so whatever you feel like doing it's so delicious but i like the pork rinds kind of as like a breaded option it just kind of mixes up your dinners for the week especially keto especially if maybe you're kind of getting bored with it you want to switch it up or maybe like a grilled chicken or something like that this is another delicious option and with the butter it's so juicy if you want to make it a little bit more yummy maybe you've got some extra calories there you can also make a keto cheese sauce look up joe duff he's got a pretty easy cheese sauce and you can kind of just dip the chicken in there if you want to add a little bit to your broccoli if you want to be a little bit more not as what do you call it strict with it normally when i am not doing keto this is what i'll make and this is also just like a treat in general if you're just trying not to eat out you're like you know what we have something actually delicious at home and if maybe after you're doing keto or maybe you're watching this right now you just wanted a different kind of low carb option for a baked chicken parmesan what you can do is add a little bit of mac and cheese it's delicious when you're not doing keto or maybe i don't know maybe i gotta figure out how to do like a cauliflower mac and cheese if anybody's got any keto mac and cheese recipe links uh, link them down below because that would be delicious but this the chicken alone just makes a dish so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you try this if you do let me know how it goes if anybody does the spicy <laughs> pork rinds with it also let me know how that came out but i'm so excited i can see the juices coming out so i'm gonna go enjoy my dinner thank you guys so much for watching another keto meal video if you wanted another very easy quick prep breakfast prep i just uploaded my egg muffin meal meal prep for keto and even if you're not doing keto i've got some options for you you can add even more veggies to make it even more delicious or if you're doing keto so if you want another meal prep i got that for you guys for those of us who are super busy out there i get it i love it so much something about a toaster oven just makes things just seem easier <laughs> so if you have a toaster oven if not i recommend you investing in a toaster oven Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.